Welcome to Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, home of the Los Scandalous Vault and Dam. Wait, what? Both teams share the same arena? Uh, yeah, except when they're playing each other, and then I don't know who the home team is, really. Ah, uh, now I'm confused, Grim. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Malice Hellboys take on the Los Scandalous Volts. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Third down and... The punter is warming up. He picks up nine yards on that catch. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten.
You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. Not much there, maybe a yard. Third and two. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Six. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten.
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sit straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First down, you know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. point but this guy could blow it it's good they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck off that was just a one-time thing was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Second down and nine. Nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Third down in the QB is saying his prayers. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get it. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. See that move, 
baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down in a lot. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down and, well, good luck. Supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player he touches. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Third down and five. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Man, he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Well, that's how he spends his entire offseason. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Fighting for every yard. And it's first and ten. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion. But then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filming and the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. Shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and Zapter, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Third down and long. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. 
His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. He picks up five on that play. down and five. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. And it's first and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. May go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. What is this, 80s 
wrestling? Second down and seven. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that's how you stop an offense. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stomp them into the ground. First and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second and eight to go. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third and four. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh. He's killing me in the fantasy. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. There was an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the NFL. Third down and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. for a 10-yard gain. It's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and 10. Are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. 
He's at the 20. First down. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. It's a sack. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. The ten. It's a touchdown. So it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. Second down and six. And the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. Third down in the offense. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Don't do anything stupid. 
it here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expect. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. The defenders want speed to kick in. There were any functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Second down and five. He's not. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and a pussy here. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and two. Just a great run for a touchdown. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistake, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And he the defense calls a sticky ball dirt. Trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole on her lip either. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Great 
chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated. And I'm a team that not... Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it. That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost power and green, like a haiku! Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one-hole highlight. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Brady. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. The offense goes into their two minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And that is called for a first down. First 
second. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. No, I hope the kicker ate his bleedies this morning. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB had some issues with the ball placement. And the Los Angeles folks will go home losers today. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.